God damn, boy. Y'all boys wild out here, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I seen the nicest females I ever seen in my life. Today. What the fuck are you talking about? This motherfuckers forgot about every attitude, all that. The nicest females. This is the nicest time females is gonna be, G. I done got 30, at least 30, you wanna see me today, Tex. <laughs> I ain't got shit for you, my boy. Oh, you waited too late, my boy. The nicest females I ever. This, the, this, I mean, the female is just so nice today, man. I think they got something coming. You know, good goddamn and well, I ain't got shit for you, my boy. Man, send some hard beats, man. Damn well, man. These females, the nicest they done been all year, boy. I'm trying to tell you. They want to do everything they can do for you today. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't rolled this wood. What? What is these people on? What, you drunk, nigga? Hold on. A bat wood. Yeah, yeah, they need that holiday email. They need that holiday love, you know what I'm saying? They want, they want you to goddamn fuck with them today. You want to see me today? Hell no. Hell no, I don't want to see you today. Fuck around, never see you again. <laughs> you fuck around, be on the block list texting my ass all day all day, boy. I fuck around, blow this little 20,000 on the strength, you dig know what I'm saying? I ain't never going back to what I used to be, nigga. Never, nigga. I don't give a fuck what I do. I'm never going back to what I used to be, nigga. That's the mentality that I got. Yeah. And I ain't even who I want to become yet. Like, I'm still working, man. Like, you ask me why I just say on my Instagram, I, I ain't shit. I know I ain't shit. It ain't no big secret. I just happen to make something out of nothing. <laughs> I don't want no back, I don't want no documentary. I don't used to be in no band neither. What the hell? The glasses? Yeah, yeah. These Cartier, twenty five hundred for the frames. Boy, how you gonna tell me I used to be in a band? I ain't never in my life been in no band, boy. What the hell you talking about? Nigga, I'm a one man band, boy. The fuck is you talking about? Cap. All cap. Hell yeah, 2019. It's the foot on these niggas' necks, man. <coughs> foot on your neck. Pedal to the gas. Full throttle. Work the wrist and show my watch. Oh, show my watch. Talking about that rolling. That shit light, boy. Can I get a um, half order, a whole order of duck, um, duck and noodles? Ew, what the fuck? Whole order of duck and noodles. Whole order of duck and noodles? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I get a um, three-piece chicken? Damn, man. This the only day I'm talking to y'all, man, so you better How ask your questions eat? now, man. I need uh, half. It's the last live for this year, so shit, you better ask How your questions. How much order of duck and noodles? <laughs> okay, now how much is a half uh, order of ham for young? Ooh, what the fuck? Uh, let me get that. Uh, uh. Okay. The ham and for young. For sure, I do this shit so y'all can get better. The, the whole order of duck and noodles. This may sound weird, but I'm still yeah, getting better. Four piece chicken. Well, what is it, four piece? Yeah, four piece. Yes. Hell yeah. You gotta know where to spend that shit. Be all. You gotta know where to spend that shit. You gotta know. 
you. Where they spend that shit? Hey man, I was in Atlanta, right? They gave me five grand. I went and got five grand out of the bank. These motherfuckers, just cause I had spent five grand out of this twenty, so I'm like, let me get another five to replace it. Boy, these fuck gave me five grand in old hundreds. Couldn't believe this shit. Throw the old hundreds away. I'm gonna go out and just oh yeah, you took. <laughs> Uh, we need a child squad DJ and Dirk tape. You ain't never gonna get a full tape because we spreading our records around. Hell no. You gonna get way more music though. I got four on Dirk next album already. It's done. We just submitted it. So shit. Shit, I'm cool. I ain't, I ain't into that. I ain't into that shit, bro. I ain't nobody, bro. I'm a regular ass nigga, bro. I'm cool. I ain't trying to run off no producer credits. None of that shit, bro. I'm nobody, bro. Niggas. Oh. Yeah, nigga. This nigga, dog. Yeah, man, y'all boys. Bro. I showed so much holiday shit this year, nigga. I don't know what to say. Nigga, I don't, nigga. I was sending clothes for like nine families, nigga. No cap, nigga. Black Santa Claus. Hey, man, just Google me, man. Just Google Tri Squad DJ. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Just go to YouTube and type in "produced by Tri Squad DJ." I ain't shit though. I'm just here to remind you. I ain't shit. You dig what I'm saying? <coughs> what up, dirty face? That nigga dirty face in this motherfucker hard. That nigga dirty face harder than a lot of y'all niggas. Listen, bro. I'm nobody, bro. All I want to do is be able to take care of myself and people around me. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. And to keep doing it, you feel me? You say, whole time you should be like your own album, like Trap Hollis today. I'm about to sign as an artist in 2019. That don't mean I'm about to be rapping. That don't mean I'm getting on the mic. That mean I'm dropping songs produced by me, brought to you by me. <laughs> I took meetings with Interscope On January 9th I got a meeting with 300 I'm about to sign As an artist That's the next move You dig what I'm saying I already got the producer bag I'm in a million dollar agreement right now I'm good Now I'm about to sign As an artist I'm about to show y'all The next level Like I ain't like these other niggas bro I show y'all each step I'm going to show y'all each step to show you this shit possible, you dig? But you can't do this shit without... You can't skip no steps doing this shit. You dig what I'm saying? You can't skip no steps. There ain't no quick route. There ain't none of that. So, I'm going to show you each step one by one. Montana, 300. All right, man. So, 300... Is a label, my nigga. I don't know who y'all talking about. I need to get off this shit. Motherfucker, I said I mentioned 300 the label. Motherfucker said Montana of 300, like the artists in Chicago. I bet y'all speaking goddamn me German to y'all niggas. I'm cool. I don't want to link with nobody. I don't want to sell no beats. I don't want to do none of that. I'm cool. Y'all got to have come proper, man. Because I was, nigga, what niggas wasn't fuck. Listen, bro. I got to treat y'all how these niggas treated me in order to make your standards go higher. So when you get in this motherfucker, you competing. You not underneath. You dig? So look, I'm not selling no beats. I ain't doing no collabs until you come proper. Until you show me you putting on for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Listen, without you putting your own work into your campaign and shit, 
Me, I'm not doing nothing but helping you. How is that benefiting me? Who the fuck want to do something that's not beneficial to both parties? You know what I'm saying? Think about this shit. That's why I got to be hard on you. Got to be tough on you because you got to understand. Man, listen. Nobody is going to do that shit for you. So I'm trying to tell you right now. You did. You want to be, listen, and don't just do this shit to be financially free because you're going to be fucked. You feel me? Financial freedom is only one aspect of this shit. You feel me? I'm trying to put y'all on game, man. You want to be having them rolls? You want them rolls? You want them Benjamins? You want 20,000, 30,000 cash in your face? The only how you getting this shit is if you do each step the way everybody else did it. You did? Nigga, I used to... Oh, my mama, nigga. I remember, nigga, in 2013 and 14, I was begging. I was begging. Begging drummer boy, nigga Lex Luger, uh, nigga Zaytoven, nigga. If I had any of these niggas fuck with me, nigga, I'll just be like, I made it, nigga. You feel me? Cause I knew how cold I was. But just because I'm hitting niggas up, don't mean I'm doing the work. Just cause I'm making beats and hitting niggas up, don't mean you working. You gotta understand that whatever. Just because you doing what you supposed to do, don't mean you working. Working is taking what you got and expanding on it. That's working. You feel me? I'm a multi-platinum selling producer, my nigga. Hey, Lil Dave, love you, little nigga. What you want, nigga? What you want for Christmas, nigga? Hey, all my niggas, my niggas, man. If I been knowing you, knowing you for real, for real, and I ain't talking about linked up a couple times. If I been knowing you for years, nigga, if I was in that basement with you, my nigga, if I was in that basement with you, my nigga, hit me up right now. I definitely gonna make sure you get something good for Christmas. You hear me? If I was in that basement with you, my nigga, you feel me? It's not a lot of niggas that even remember that basement. So I'm not gonna... If you... Listen... If you ain't rock with me when I was living in Baden, nigga, do not inbox me. You feel me? You feel me? With way back. I'm talking about Baden, nigga. So that means if you ain't been doing me at least nine years, nigga, it's over. You feel me? Yeah. I'm trying to put y'all boys on game, man. 2019 need to be that time where you done playing, man. Because I ain't, let me tell you, this ain't that. Where your chick at? Where about that? Cause this ain't that. You <laughs> dig what that boy Keith said? For real, man. Listen, man. You ain't getting no beat from me unless you spend it at least a thousand dollars, man. What's this we watching right here? Oh, yeah, I remember that shit. This the new one. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Listen, man. If I don't see you out here in this industry, I'm not linking with you. Because when I wasn't out here in this industry and doing what I'm supposed to do, if I, you can be seen just by linking with the right people. So if you're not being seen, that means you're not linking with the right people, which means you're not working for real. It just means you building your craft. Building your craft and working two different things. You got to understand the terminology, my boy. <coughs> Let me tell you. All right, look. I ain't going to go off on no credits, but I'm going to tell you all the works that went either gold or platinum that I did this year. All right, let's get it. Trippy Red, Life's a Trip, gold. Ray Shrimmer, Shrim Life, three. Gold. Power Glide, two times platinum. All right. Migos, Culture 2, two times platinum. You dig what I'm saying? That's five times platinum, and I'm only in half of the year. You dig what I'm saying? Yo Gotti and Lucci, they like go. You dig what I'm saying? I'm trying to think about I done did a lot of shit this year. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me see. What's that, bro? Done uh, wash the car? Yeah. Huh. Here, get this to him. I don't even got no warrants. I don't. Oh, yes, I do. There you go. How, how good he do that, mother? Go out there and just. Not really. Right. Come on. I gotta be hard on y'all niggas so y'all understand. This this shit ain't coming. He right. He just walked. He just wiped the outside. How how good he do? All 
Alright. What's the word, Mob? What's up? Man, just stay focused, man. Stay you, man. Watch that shit happen, man. Hey, man. This is my last live. So if y'all got some questions, you better ask that shit right now, man. This is my last live this year. And next year, I don't care about no social media shit. I care about these placements. I got over 40 placements this year. Next year, I'm going for 60, nigga. For real. Yo, yo. What y'all on, man? Only seek management when, listen, you only seek management when you got serious, serious situations going on. Major placements, always approach management to represent you because you don't want to represent yourself and put a barrier between you and the financial situation. Mob, what it do? Funny as hell. Salute. Happy holidays, my boy. We in here. John Lennon. All right, so these vintage Cartier. This is vintage Cartier. All right, vintage Cartier. Vintage Cartier, twenty five hundred dollars for the frame. I don't got no production or production deals worth it. I don't know what a production deal is. That's not how producers get deals. Producers take co-pub deals or admin deals. There ain't no production deal. There's a song deal you can do, but most likely before you reach a song deal agreement with, with an individual artist, you're going to garner yourself a publishing or, or co-publishing deal or admin deal. <coughs> Fuck, they don't know about the woods. They don't know about the industry. Should a producer be signed up as a publisher as well as a songwriter? If you signed up under a publisher, it's going to allocate. Listen, if they decide to give you songwriter credit, you automatically going to collect it under your producer's publishing. It's not two separate things. It can be two separate things when you register as an individual, but when you register a work, it's not two separate things. Putting y'all on game. I'm probably like, I'm speaking Spanish to y'all goof-ass niggas, man. Telling y'all about this game for real. Y'all niggas don't know about this game for real. Y'all just got damn me see niggas with some bread and be like, oh, he made it. Nigga, it's a difference between making it and having it. Shit, you could have made it already, but shit, you ain't on no more. What about what you got going now? Put y'all boys in that real game, man. Man. Sync licensing deals, agreements. I got all type of shit going on, man. ESPN deal. I got a Showtime deal. I got a teed up is in is, is in uh teed up is in fifty cent new shit. Teed up is on the ESPN highlight reel for next year. Yeah, man. It's about maintaining. Can you really make big money in the music or can you really lose money? I don't know how you can lose money in music if you do it the right way. I mean, my nigga, these streaming platforms allow you to upload your own music at any time. You make money immediately. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, what? Yeah, you can make big money in this shit. I became a millionaire off this shit in three years. 
It took three years for me to become a millionaire. Three, nigga. And it didn't just happen like broke and millionaire, nigga. It wasn't just broke and then millionaire, nigga. It was broke, nigga, 2,000, nigga, 5,000, losing it. Keep gaining it, losing it, losing it, losing it. Because you got to learn how to maintain and manage money, nigga. Like, listen, if you give a nigga who never had nothing a million dollars, he's going to be back to nothing in a year. You feel me? Because he doesn't know how to manage, maintain, and create longevity from that income. I'm putting y'all on real deal game. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing y'all, this is all part of the process of becoming an adult as well. Financial management is a part of becoming an adult. And if I was y'all, if you never had over $10,000 in your life before, I'm sorry, because you can get $10,000. If you've never kept $10,000 in your bank account for more than six months, you need to focus on money management. You need to focus on financial management as an adult. You feel me? You feel me? If you've never maintained over $10,000 in your account for over six months, then you need to focus on financial management. Because that means you're making the money, but you're not retaining the money. Making and retaining is so different and important, man. I'm trying to put you on game, bro. Put you on a real deal game, man. Everybody want to have that bag. Everybody want all hundreds, all this. But you don't, you got to work for that shit, man. You got to... Listen, and working ain't just saying you working. You feel me? You can tell everybody you want that you working, my nigga, but why we don't see you working? You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Listen, I do. If I got more work to come out than I do announcing because sometimes I don't even know the shit about to come out. You feel me? I It just started being to where I, I was a big... I, listen, it, I just got to the point to where I was a big enough producer to where these niggas is telling me ASAP everything. Like... Now people reaching out to me, every label, A&R, artist, everybody I meet, they consistently want me to be around now. But it was not like that originally. Not only did I have to pay my dues, took losses on placements, motherfuckers stealing, stealing, all type of shit, bro. Like, what you mean? You got to learn how to maneuver in this shit. And what make you you is you being able to remain you through this situation. Because that's going to determine if you made for this shit. You feel me? Putting y'all on game, man. Trying to tell you, boy. I was in that mud, you dig what I'm saying? Took three years to do that shit, you feel me? I'm putting y'all boys on real deal game. But you know, don't mind me, man. Just keep watching, though. Keep watching. Because I'm going to show y'all that I'm an orphan, my nigga. You feel me? I came from nothing, my nigga. You feel me? I didn't have any parents. You feel me? So, I came from nothing. You watching the orphan. You just watched the orphan become a millionaire, nigga. That's, it's already hard enough for a person who got a stable family with a great education and a solid foundation to either, re, either get a decent making a decent money-making job. You know what I'm saying? Make decent career at that. Nigga, you watched an orphan. Who is literally going foster home to foster home the majority of his life. Overcome all emotional trauma. Focus only on his music and become a millionaire. If that don't show you that this shit is per this is real. If that don't show you it's real, my nigga, come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Listen. If you selling beats online, if you if you're a producer, this is for producers and rappers. The more accessible your music is, the more saturated your your your, your lane gonna be. And the harder it is for you to get exposure, basically. You need to get you need to get good and then get good at networking. Because then it's gonna be easier for you to get around people. You feel me? It's the being good is just one thing. But you're gonna have to get good and get in these niggas' faces so they know you good. And then you're gonna have to be better than they already whoever they, whoever they already around for them to make you wanna consistently come around. You feel me? It's a whole process. Y'all got a peak game, though. See, I ain't just email these niggas beats and be like, check out my beats, bro. I'm not spamming they ass on their account. So I'm not I'm not even DMing them. I'm waiting till I see these niggas in person. Or they see me. They hear about me and DM me. I'm putting y'all on real deal game. You did? But if you selling beats online, you hustling backwards because you're in an oversaturated market and you're making your music too accessible to people. You feel me? See, the reason why... I'm one of the top tier producers is not because just brand. It's because 
my work ethic. You can't get my beats online, my nigga. You can't even hit up another artist and tell them to send the beats because I guarantee you they use the beats I sent to them. You feel me? You got to develop a unique, something unique about yourself and then base your entire brand around that. You feel me? But you know, I'm trying to put y'all boys on the game. I ain't nobody, though. Shit. Fuck what I'm talking about, man. Get money. <laughs> Y'all boys already rich, man. You dig? You dig, man. This is my final live for the year. And I'm telling y'all what I learned all at 18. How I turn practice. How I turn preaching to practice, my nigga. You feel me? I'm showing you this is what I do. You feel me? Y'all ass bad as hell, man. Go, what are y'all doing, man? On my cousin house, man. Hey, hey, what the fuck, man? What the fuck y'all doing, G? Go sit down, G. What the fuck y'all doing? Y'all tweaking in here. These kids tweaking. I'm in here with these damn kids. I just peeped. This nigga just. This nigga just went and got that little food and got me in here with his damn kids. What the fuck? Man, 2019, I'm signing as an artist, man. Fuck that. 2019, I'm signing as an artist. <clears throat> All you got to do is register that work to whatever publisher you sign with. No. The artist got to grab you, nigga. You can't grab no artist and get behind them. You're nobody, my nigga. Like, what does that mean? The artist has to grab you. You have to gravitate towards the artist, and the artist have to visually, physically distinguish you from other people and want to work with you. It's so many artists out here, my nigga. You can get any of these little bitty ass artists, my nigga. It's so many artists out here, my nigga. Like, come on, my nigga. I'm not signing no artists around me, no. If I will get an artist signed, but I'm not signing no artists, no. I get an artist signed and get that get that upfront bag, but I'm no. I get an artist signed and go get that upfront bag, but I'm not signing no artists ever. <coughs> producers, producers don't ever sign artists. You just think that you just don't know the terminology. Of course, that's your that's your interpretation of the terminology. You feel me? All right, a few more questions and I'm out of here. Yeah, I got about three more minutes and I'm off this bitch, man. Ask y'all a few little questions. What's going on? Make that shit count. I wish somebody did this shit to me. I wish I could go on Facebook back in 2011 and 12. And the biggest song I made this year was Power Glide by Ray Schremer. That was the biggest song I made this year. Well, I don't know. Yeah, Power Glide was my biggest song. And Trippy Red Topanga was my second biggest song. Power Glide peaked at number two on the billboard. And... Topanga peaked at 21 on Billboard, and it's there right now. Or you can slide on me, nigga. You a grown-ass man. That's, you know, that's, that can happen. And I don't be in St. Louis, my nigga. Like, I don't, I don't do that. Would I recommend an artist to work with one producer? Fuck no. Nah. Whatever producer gets you that hit, then you stay working with that nigga. Until then, you build a library with multiple producers to build a catalog. You use producer sound to build a significant catalog to have a presence online to where anytime we look you up, it'll come up. There's been so many bogus ass people, bro. It's scary. It's like... You're going to deal with a lot of bullshit until you remove yourself from it. T. Grizz and Lil Yachty, that light song, yeah, yeah. 
That's in 2K19 and Madden 19 as well. I don't sell beats no more to independent artists. There ain't no taxing. Charge $15,000 a beat for all major artists. And for artists like T Grizzly and Dirk, $10,000 a beat. For the people I work with, the closest, like T and Dirk, the lowest I ever went with them in the last two years was $7,500. Artists don't have their own sounds. If you knew how this industry worked, you would know artists don't have their own sounds. Artists derive their sounds from the producer sound because the artist is nothing but a voice and a flow. It takes the right production to complement that flow to garner the vibe that the artist be looking for. If I was an artist, I'd sign some producers. Shit, fuck that, and then grow with them. Make. Make sure they get bigger and grow with them. That's how I do that shit. What's a beverage sponsor? Who is the beverage? All right. DM me. If it's a sponsorship, DM me. What's going on? You good? I'm out, man. I ain't got damn me dropped too much on y'all boys. Y'all got to absorb this shit, man. Go back and watch this video, man. Boss up. You dig what I'm saying? Boss up. For real. You want you want a song away from your life being changed. And if you ain't doing music, you got damn me. You want deal away. But you never have to worry again. Keep that shit going.